Hello friends, welcome back to another Remnant 2 video. Today I am taking you through the dormant Nerudian facility on Nerud. It's one of the dungeons that you'll encounter while you're there, or that you may encounter while you're there, I should say. But this one is one of the ones that is timed, and the way to beat it is to kill all the enemies. Now, there's another way to beat it, and this is what I'm going to show you here. Instead of killing all the enemies, you actually want to make your way up into the control room room way up top and then activate the manual override which is going to kill all the enemies in the area thus completing the dungeon. Now as you're doing this you're also going to earn yourself a trait if you're in co-op and somebody stays outside of the control room getting gassed to death <laughs> and then you're also going to get a mutator from the mini boss that's going to spawn in the control room when you activate it so the first thing you want to do as you're going through the dungeon is to look for this bridge right here you're going to see an opening in the railing on the right and you're going to drop down try to just drop down softly and not yeet yourself off of the bridge because you'll probably miss but you're gonna go down through this area right here and this is actually kind of the secret underground area of the dungeon and this is going to allow you to get up to that office up top so that you can complete the dungeon that way. So just follow the path that I'm on right here. You'll end up getting to an elevator and then you're gonna wanna take that elevator up to the bridge up top. Now I'm also going to show you guys both perspectives in the room and out of the room so you know what to expect if you are in a co-op team. Excuse me while I go get this chest over here. But you're going to make your way across this top bridge here. One person or two people I guess are going to stay outside the room. Whoever needs the trait needs to stay outside of the room. The other person or people are going to go inside of the control room and you're going to activate this console right here. Activating the console is going to close the door and it's going to gas out the entire dungeon, including your teammate or teammates, whoever's outside there. Whoever's outside is actually going to get a trait, which I'll show you in a minute, but you're going to get a quest complete. And then the mutator mini boss is going to spawn SD0A7. Whoever's in the control room can then kill the mini boss. Once you kill the mini boss, you're going to get the new mutator called Failsafe. And this mutator says that your attached mod deals 10% additional mod damage. And at level 10, attached mod also gains 15% chance to not consume a charge. I also want to mention the first time you complete this dungeon and that quest complete comes up on your screen, you should be getting the siphoner trait, which is a lifesteal. Let me know in the comments if you don't get it, but it has been so long since we've done this dungeon and I know you get this trait. It's just not going to pop up for me. All right, let's flip the perspectives. I'm going to show you my perspective from outside of the room and what that looks like. So my teammate is inside of the control room, pressing the button right now, which is going to therefore which is going to then close the door, locking me outside. And you'll see the room fill up with gas. You get your new trait, Resonance, throw up a little bit and die. So let's take a look at the trait Resonance. Resonance is actually aura size, goes up to 50% aura size. This is a co-op trait, I guess, but not inherently co-op. This is going to increase the aura size of certain skills and mods. So we're currently going through and trying to figure out what it does increase and what it doesn't increase. It's a little bit finicky, whether it's aura size or AOE size that's increasing, but maybe we'll do a separate video on that and then lastly if you're looking for what to do with the biome control glyph just take the checkpoint back out of the dungeon turn around go back in the door and you'll find it right by the big stone once you go through that door you'll pick up the memory core and the toxic release valve amulet this amulet is going to give you a toxic cloud when you swap firearms and it's going to deal acid damage to all enemies within seven meters and it also applies corrosion all right guys that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did leave a like there are more remnant 2 videos on the way and i will see you guys in the next one bye